hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it's me jayla here so today we're going to be doing another makeup look first thing we're going to do is take our juvelous place concealer in the number 13 and we put that all over our eyelids and we're going to blend it with a brush We're going in the number nine nude by Nick AK Makeup, and we're gonna be mixing those two browns together and putting it all over my crease area. Now we're going into the Rebel Palette by Juvelous Place and we're going to be taking that dark gray color and we're going to be putting that like on our mid crease. Next, we're going to be doing, this is not really a cut crease, but this is just me carving out my eyelids with concealer just to make sure it's very clean. And we're going to be using the number nine by Nick Akai, the black eyeshadow. And we're going to be putting it on the ends of the eyelid. Y'all are about to see in a second, but this is just me carving out that eyelid space so it could be a little bit clean going to be going back into the rebel palette and taking that dark gray navy color and just cleaning up the look a little bit more and then after that we're going to be taking a dark black well we're going to be taking the color black we're going to be putting it on the outsides of our eyelids y'all about to see that color right there from the number nine palette i really could have used the color from the rebel palette but i don't know what my mind was thinking i was like one is black and the other one is like dark gray so i thought maybe they were two different colors but i was wrong i'm going to be doing that just patting that in <laughs> Thank you. 
taking some of that dark gray color and putting it under my eyelids just so it can smoke out the under eyelids a little bit more then i'm actually going to be putting eyelash glue on my eyelid y'all about to see in a second just so the glitter can actually stick that's the glitter that i'm using and i got it from this company called airy winkle air ari is like a youth fellow youtuber and she has like a beauty channel i definitely recommend you check her out that's where i got this glitter from i'm just using glue so the glitter can actually stick but i definitely recommend the glitter from her it was so easy to apply so yeah i'm gonna stop talking So when it comes down to glitter, I like to actually pat it on. Glitter can be very messy if you, you know, don't know what you're doing. So I recommend you taking a brush. I wet my brush up a little bit with water and then I proceeded to put the glitter on my eyelids. But just take your time and pat the glitter on. It's gonna look so much better. <laughs> I'm taking this highlight and I'm going to be putting it on my brow bone. I'm going to be using the good old LA Girl Pro Concealer. I believe it's in the color toffee if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to be highlighting my face. As you can see, I'm actually taking the concealer and cleaning up this eye look a little bit more. Because I'm not going to do a wing liner or anything like that. And I kind of want it to look sharp. So I'm going to be highlighting my face.
I'm actually going to be using Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I didn't record me putting it on. But that's the one I use. And I use the color 365. Just in case if you're wondering what shade I am in. And y'all know me, I have a really bad time with matching my lips with the actual eye makeup. So I wanted to do that dark purple, but I ended up doing just dark brown. As you can see, I'm lining my lips up now. And then I'm going to be using the NYX Butter Gloss in the color or shade Butterscotch. A simple brown look is always going to complement any eye look, in my opinion. So that's what we did. And yeah. Okay, y'all, so this is going to be the final look. I would like to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. All of my social medias will be in the description box below. So check those out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.